breaking news now from our Hampshire County Bureau. Some Bay State residents were tested for buildup of common household chemicals. 22 News reporter Jade Rivera is live from our Hampshire County Bureau tonight with the surprising results of the study. Um, and I was pretty sure I was going to come out because I have always uh, eaten well. My parents brought me. I used to try to go to my friends' houses because they ate white bread. <laughs> and uh, we had no white bread in my house. And I exercised and I, I don't even have a television, um, which makes me you know, quite peculiar in the legislature. And I don't spend a lot all day, every day, in front of a computer screen. And on the, the questionnaire, the long questionnaire we needed to fill out uh, before we were in the study, it said, have you worked with foam? Have you worked with plastics? You know, no. I mean, I didn't know to just about everything that would give me exposure to these chemicals. But of course, but of course, I am toxic. Um, and I'm sure that every single one of you is, too. You know, no matter how hard you try to be healthy, this stuff gets into us and at us whether or not we are careful. I have a remarkable, wonderful granddaughter who is just about to be two years old. And looking at this stuff, you know, um, you know, can when you buy Progresso soup and you think it's healthy, you know, all of this stuff, it's just everywhere. Thanks, Rep. Story, for your leadership in the legislature. Uh, we are, as I said, hoping to get the bill through the Senate by Thanksgiving. So hopefully it'll be in the House soon. Yes. Uh, the Alliance for Healthy Tomorrow is working diligently to pass the Safer Alternatives Bill, which would provide a feasible way to replace many of the most dangerous toxic chemicals that we're exposed to on a regular basis with safer alternatives, like the chemicals that were found in the bodies of participants of this study. So thanks everyone for being here and um, our speakers will be available for interview uh, and we're available to answer questions. Hi, Thanks for coming. So I, I thought that I would come out with the highest marks um, and I did come out toxic. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> But it really, you know, after that, it really hit a You know, my, my grandfather, he worked with, like, Pratt and Woody United Technologies. He himself passed away of cancer. I mean, a, a generation of men who worked however they told you to work and work with whatever, and, and they did, you know. It's... And on the, the questionnaire, the long questionnaire we needed to fill out uh, before we were in the study, it said, have you worked with foam? If you worked with plastics, you know, no. I mean, I didn't know to just about everything that would give me exposure to these chemicals. But of course, but of course, I am toxic. Um, and I'm sure that every single one of you is.